Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November the 23rd of 2020. Well, it is titled a Jupiter Vista from Juno. So what do we see here? Well, this is the planet Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system. And it is an image taken by the Juno spacecraft, which is currently in orbit around Jupiter. Juno orbits in what we call a polar orbit. So it goes up and over the poles instead of around the equator, as most other spacecraft have done in the past. And it is studying it. And one of the things that it looks at are the clouds. And here we see some close up detail of the clouds. And we note that there are some darker and lighter areas that there are uh, bands of lighter and darker color within it. And even within those very significant turbulence within them. Jupiter rotates very quickly only about once every 10 hours and has very high speed winds 300 kilometers per hour and that would be about 250 mile per hour winds I'm sorry about 200 mile per hour winds so very very fast winds within the atmosphere. Now what causes the coloration is a good question. Uh, we know that there are ammonia and water vapor clouds and ammonia often gives us a very light color. So perhaps some of the whiter color is due to that. And some of the other others could be due to things like sulfur or carbon compounds. But it is still a topic of research. So even though we've had spacecraft visit Jupiter a number of times, we are still trying to understand how the large planet works, which may help us in the long run to better understand our own planet. The more objects we have to study and the more we know about them, the more views of what might go on can can we can learn and can tell us more about even our own planet. And in fact, one of the things that's been found is that water composes an unexpectedly high value for the upper level clouds in Jupiter's near Jupiter's equator. So it may help us better understand the uh, flows that we see on Jupiter, but it may tell us also about how water formed within the solar system. And one of the things we have to consider is that most of the water in the solar system is in the outer part. We do sometimes consider Earth to be a watery world. But in reality, Earth is extremely dry. If you peel off the small outer layer, just a few miles of the Earth's surface, you have really ripped off all of the water on Earth. The remainder of it going all the way down to the core would be essentially a dry and just rock and metal. So it's only those outer layers. And when we get out to the outer solar system in the atmospheres of the giant planets and on their moons, then we see a lot more material and a lot more water there. So something that Juno will hopefully tell us a little bit more about over the coming years. So that was our picture of the day for November the 23rd of 2020. It was titled a Jupiter Vista from Juno. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be helical sky. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.